The scaling hypothesis is what worked for years. The simple idea that making models bigger with more data and more compute makes them smarter. This paradigm gave us the monumental leap in performance from GPT-3 to GPT-4, a jump that felt huge. But compared to that, the GPT-5 launch was kinda different. While still an improvement, the gains have been marginal, suggesting the explosive growth from scaling alone is hitting a plateau. So it poses a natural question, have we finally reached the limits of scaling alone? And if so, what comes next for building models that are truly better? For years, the path to better AI was intellectually simple. Add more data and more compute. But that easy path is now hitting three fundamental walls, threatening to bring the era of explosive growth to an end. The first problem is the data wall. The golden age of training data is over. We've effectively scraped and fed the entire high-quality public internet into these models, and the well is running dry. Using lower-quality data from here on out risks making the models dumber, not smarter, a phenomenon researchers call model collapse. The second problem is the compute and energy wall. Training a frontier model now costs hundreds of millions of dollars and uses more electricity than a small country. Furthermore, estimates suggest the total water footprint for training a single large model can run into the hundreds of millions of liters, largely for cooling the required data centers. Before long, it will become physically and environmentally unsustainable. We're hitting a hard ceiling where building bigger models is no longer economically viable or socially responsible. The third problem, the architectural and reasoning wall. For all their fluency, LMs don't truly understand the world. They are masters of statistical pattern matching, not genuine reasoning, which is why they hallucinate facts and make simple logic errors. This is tied to the transformer architecture itself, which, while brilliant, has a fundamental flaw. Its attention mechanism is inefficient. As you give it longer documents to read, the compute required grows exponentially, a bottleneck that prevents true long-term memory and efficiency. Faced with these fundamental limits, the easy path of just scaling up is over. But this pressure is forcing a new wave of innovation. Here is what the industry is actively doing right now to push back against each of these walls. To mitigate the data wall, the primary countermeasure is the generation of high-quality synthetic data. Labs are now using their most powerful models to generate vast, clean, and structured datasets to train the next generation of AI. This is often paired with curriculum learning, a technique that structures data from simple to complex to maximize its value. To address the compute wall, two major trends are accelerating. The first is the implementation of architectures like mixture of experts, where only a sparse subset of expert subnetworks is activated per token, keeping inference costs low while maintaining a high total parameter count. The second is the development of specialized hardware, with companies like NVIDIA engineering GPUs with dedicated cores for key operations like matrix multiplication, delivering higher performance per watt. While smarter data and faster chips are like reinforcing the foundation of the current AI paradigm, they don't address the cracks appearing in the structure itself. This forces us to consider if the problem lies not with the inputs or the infrastructure, but with the core architectural primitives of the transformer that have defined this entire era of AI. Two new paradigms are targeting the transformer's core computational and reasoning bottlenecks. The first, the hierarchical reasoning model, directly targets the transformer's fixed computational depth, which limits performance on tasks requiring sequential reasoning. It uses a recurrent, hierarchical architecture with distinct high-level and low-level modules to enable deep reasoning. This structure has demonstrated near-perfect accuracy on complex symbolic tasks like Sudoku Extreme, where state-of-the-art chain-of-thought models achieve 0% accuracy. The second paradigm is the push for world models. This approach aims to solve the reasoning deficit in LLMs by having them learn causal models of an environment, not just statistical correlations in text. A state-of-the-art example, Meta's VJEPA 2, demonstrates this solution in practice. Instead of just learning text patterns, it is pre-trained on over a million hours of video, forcing it to learn the underlying concepts of physics and motion by predicting what will happen next in a scene. If you want to know more about either world models or HRM, watch these videos next.